Boys and girls, welcome along to Fairy HQ. It's Halloween! <laughs> love the spooky season here in Fairy HQ and as you can see we have lots of decorations up to get into the Halloween spirit and today I'm here to do a make and do and we're going to make a witch's hat for Fairy Willow that lives there and then we're going to make a ghost costume for Fairy Eliza who lives here and I have two fairy models here beside me and they are in and around the right size of a real fairy as well. So what you're going to need, some black card, a black marker or pen. Also at home you might have an old pillowcase or an old sheet say, or maybe an old white t-shirt. Now make sure that the old white t-shirt doesn't belong to anyone like say a big brother or anything because that might be a bit awkward if it's their favorite t-shirt and we don't want that. Then as well you're going to need a scissors. And you're going to need some glue and for these parts in particular you have to make sure that there's a grown-up with you when we're using them. Now as you can see I have my witch's hat on and a very magical creature said that she would stop by today as well but she hasn't arrived yet so I'm not... Oh! What a ghostly creature we have here boys and girls! Oh my goodness who could this be? Well I think that this could be a bit of a dead giveaway but um we're we're very, very frightened, aren't we, boys and girls? Um, and thank you for stopping by, Fauna. I mean, ghost, ghost, thank you for dropping by, but we have a make and do to get to, and um, yeah, there's a lot of work to do, so bye. Okay, so let's get started with this make and do. Um, first of all, Camera Kev, is there any way of um, making these lights a little more normal, um, just so I can see what I'm doing here? Oh, perfect, thank you. Right, so let's get all this cleared off and we can start with our ghost costume. Okay, so first things first, you have to grab your white piece of fabric and then cut out a circular shape. Around the size of your face, it should be absolutely perfect. And then you need to grab your black pen. Voila! And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two oval shapes. So let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. These are gonna be our ghost eyes. And it should look a little something like this. Once you have that done, what we want to do is we want to use maybe a pen or a pencil just to pierce two tiny little holes in our ghost costume so that our fairies can actually see out of them. Otherwise, they'll be flying everywhere. It'll be crazy Halloween. Fairies will be all over the place. Grab a pen and we're going to pierce two little holes just where we made the mark with our pen and our marker. Okay, so that's it. That's our ghost costume done, completed, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little model here my little fairy model and we're going to put the fairy costume on our model so that you guys can see what it is going to look like once your fairy has their costume on. Oh boys and girls this is the cutest Halloween costume ever. Look perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave our little fairy model outside fairy Eliza's door and then she's going to see her fairy ghost costume and she's going to be delighted. And that's what you can do once you have your fairy ghost costume made, just leave it outside the fairy door and your fairy will find it and they're gonna love it. I hope that fairy Eliza doesn't get a fright when she walks outside her fairy door and sees this waiting for her. So what I'll do is I'll leave her a note just to give her a bit of warning. I'll move this over just a tiny bit. So next up we have our witch's hat and for this you're gonna need your black card, your glue and your scissors. So first steps first, what we need to do is we need to cut out two different shapes. The first shape is gonna be a circle and it's in and around the same size as a bottle cap. And then our second shape is about a quarter, like a quarter of a circle, I guess. But what I'll do is I'll cut out these shapes and then I'll show you at the end, just so you know what they look like. Okay, so here are two different shapes. So the first one, is about the same size, maybe a two euro coin or a bottle cap. And then the second looks like this. So a quarter of a full circle. It might be a little bit trickier, but we're gonna make a smaller circle inside the large circle. And this is so that your fairy can actually put the witch's hat on his or her head. So once that part is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the peak of your witch's hat. Grab this shape and we're gonna roll it up until it looks like a witch's hat. And then to keep it all in place, we're gonna use a bit of glue as well. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this to the side to set, and I'm just gonna grab my witch's hat that I did make earlier. Ta-da! 
And I added a little golden spider web for effect as well. I'm gonna grab my little model here. Just to give you guys an idea of what the witch's hat will look like on your fairy. So here we go. No! How cute is that? Hey, my fairy model has black hair. I have black hair. We're like twins, right? <laughs> I leave this little lady out by Willow's fairy door. And then Willow will get a really nice surprise when she comes out of our fairy door later tonight as well. And if you want to make a little teeny weeny fairy broom to go with your fairy witch's hat, just click the link below and you can make that as well. Okay, so that's it for our make and do. Today, we made a very cute miniature ghost costume. And we made a teeny weeny witch's fairy hat as well. Did you know, boys and girls, that on Halloween, it's the only night of the year that fairies actually venture outside while their humans are running around all dressed up. And they absolutely love to watch all the fireworks in the sky. And they love to see what you guys dress up as. A lot of fairies actually like to dress up just like their humans as well. So that's pretty cool. Can you imagine your fairy flying around dressed like you? Such a cool idea. Actually, speaking of dressing up, why not comment below this video and let me know what you guys are going to dress up as this Halloween because I would love to know. That's it from me guys. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And we're going to be back again really soon with another YouTube video direct from Fairy HQ. Bye guys. Happy Halloween.